Hello everyone, today we are taking a tour of Skybar Confectionery Company. It's in Sudbury, Massachusetts, and I visited the place, did a bunch of shots for the documentary I made on the candy bar, and uh, yeah, there was just so much that didn't make it into the documentary that I wanted to show the full experience of walking through Skybar here in this video. Now, if you don't know what a Sky Bar is, well, a Sky Bar is a chocolate bar that has four different segments in one. And each segment is a different uh, flavor, has a different filling. There's caramel, vanilla, peanut, and fudge. And here we are just walking through the shop area of Sky Bar. It has a bunch of different candy bars. And looking past the windows here, you see the machinery and everything. And the whole production area of where sky bars are made. It's just a tiny little uh, part inside of a building and, and those are racks holding molds that uh, shape and make the candy bars. Here we have an assortment of various different types of candy bars, some that are more nationally known and some are more local and kind of unknown but still around. There's a lot that I wish I could have bought when I was there, but hauling candy all across the country, probably not a good idea. Probably have to order it online to try some of this stuff, but uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of candy that I did not know about until I visited Sky Bar here. To give you a little bit of a backstory of Sky Bar in the first place, it was first made in 1938 by Necco, who make the famous Necco wafers. And when Necco went out of business in 2018, the Sky Bar property went up for sale. Nobody bought it, and then it was auctioned off, and Louise Malini, who owned Duck Soup, bought the candy bar, the properties and everything. And this store that we're walking in right now at the time was a clothing store and it was just going out of business so louise she took this area and made it into the factory that was going to make sky bars now going throughout the store here is the section where sky bars are available to buy and right below it you will see the sky bar oopsies which are sky bars that just aren't perfect enough to be packaged so they're sold in little baggies like that up above there you see a train track where a train sometimes uh, goes through a little toy train as we zoom past the candy bars and we look up above the doors you will see some original neko sky bar molds on display cool little painting on the wall telling you exactly how sky bar got its name it was through skywriting advertisements. We got some t-shirts there, and then there's the entrance to Duck Soup. But now, we are inside of the factory itself. Louise was there, and it was really awesome of her to take us in, and I could film right inside of the factory itself. She was pointing at a bunch of sky bars in their boxes, being ready to be shipped out, and then here she is showing us the sky bars that were just made sitting in their molds inside of the cooler. And you will see that there are some white bubbles that pop up. And that's the vanilla nougat uh, popping up out of the things. And she told us that it was not a good thing. And uh, there's something wrong with the candy bar of how they might have broke at some point or whatever. But the cool thing about it is that she still repurposes the uh, candy bars that are not perfect enough to seal and sell, and she will sell them in the shop as Sky Bar Oopsies. Moving on to the assembly line, here is the vat of fudge that is put into the candy bar. Moving on down, this is now the peanut, which is sourced locally and it tastes so good and now we move on and we look off to the left and there you see the big bowls there the big vats that's where they cook all the different fillings for the candy bar and to the left that blue thing is the crane that lifts up the vats so 
Nobody hurts themselves lifting it by hand. And over here, we're taking a look at the vat of nougat filling, or they call it vanilla. And back in the day, they called it nougat parfait. And here's Louise showing us the final fourth filling, which is caramel. And caramel, in my opinion, is the best filling out of the four. The whole Sky Bar is great, but I love the caramel the best, or caramel, however you want to say it. And while I'm looking at that, Louise is wanting to show me the chocolate vat, which she didn't want to lift up and show because it would just mess up the science behind the chocolate. Here is the wrapping station where all the Sky Bars are packaged and ready to be shipped out. They go through this line, and then at the very end, you got a complete Sky Bar. Those are empty, obviously, but yeah, that's uh, where it all happens. And here's a couple that she was showing me off to the side, right next to their molds after they've been knocked out of them. Looking outside of the Sky Bar factory, right into the traffic there. Here is the assembly line where the bars are actually made and filled. They weren't making any at the time, so there's the tray. Just making sure the fillings don't fall into the bottom of it. And now we are going into the store next door to Sky Bar, which is Duck Soup. And Duck Soup is a very neat little store with all different kinds of things from cookware to coffee to candy the chocolate spices general gifts just anything that you could think of that you need for your kitchen they pretty much have it this dessert case oh my god it was just heaven to me i know i couldn't take all of it home but man i was tempted I do have to say my biggest regret is not picking up one of those peanut butter cups. I really would love to review one of those and just more or less eat. Also I'm very curious about those coconut slices. Here we're passing the cheese area and the sausage area. And then looking off, there is Louise putting together a bunch of cupcakes, I think. She was putting it all together for a birthday party the next day. And here while I was filming, we had a verbal exchange. And she was just telling me what she was up to. I said, hey, what you up to? Here is the rest of the traffic and back into the store. There is the nice little duck soup sign up above. Now looking here, you see in those shelves a bunch of chocolate in plastic cases. That's all the sky bars that just weren't perfect and they were broken up into pieces and put in those plastic boxes. And Louise told me, like, as soon as they're stocked, people rush in to buy those. Making our way through all the cookies and snacks, we wind up into the cooking and bakeware area. Lots of nice premium stuff there. Some people ask me, well, why do you care so much about Sky Bar? What, what is it about a candy bar that just really, you know, you're just obsessed with almost? And it's, I'm not really obsessed. I'm just curious about something. I want to know how uh, things are created. And you never know whenever you just dig into something where it will take you. 
And here at this point in my life, I wind up in duck soup. Okay, right there on the shelf, you see it's Coffee Crisp. That is a candy bar that is usually sold in Canada, and it is so good. I wish it was sold here in the States, but I, that's another thing I regret not picking up was uh, that. And here we have some more darker premium chocolate. Above, some pots, some pans. I really love the lighting, the track lighting they have in this store too. It really gives it some extra style and flair. Back to the front counter behind the nice lady there, there's uh, candies and coffee off to the left right there. And here we are entering back into Sky Bar. That concludes our tour of Sky Bar. Thank you guys for watching and listening. I am your tour guide, DJ Glowing Ice. And here we are in Boston. Uh, a bunch of turkeys were just randomly walking the streets. It was something odd. As a boy from the Midwest, I never seen that before. But yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.